Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss arithmetic sequences. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to determine or find uh, the common difference and the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Correctly determine arithmetic means okay, between two non-consecutive terms and correctly solve problems involving arithmetic sequence. So arithmetic sequence, when we say arithmetic sequence, this is also called arithmetic progression. So arithmetic sequence is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by adding a constant. So we add a number, so that constant, and we call that constant as a common difference. Okay? Um, example, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. Malalaman natin na ang sequence na ito ay arithmetic if there is a common difference. Okay. Ano ba? Paano ba nakukuha ang common difference? Uh, madali lang. I-minus lang natin yung second term sa previous term. Okay. So, that would be 8 minus 4 and that is 4. 12 minus 8 is also 4. 16 minus 12 is also 4. So, the difference is constant. The difference is the same. The difference is common. That's why we call it common difference. Again, we got that by subtracting. So, common difference denoted by small d. So, that is 8 minus 4 and that is 4. The same, ano? Uh, that's 12 minus 8. That is also 4. That's also 16 minus 12 and that is also 4. So, the difference is common and that is 4. Okay? Um, another example, negative 5, negative 2, 1, 4 and so on. So let's check if it's a common uh, if it's an arithmetic sequence. Okay. Titingnan natin kung meron bang common difference. Right? So we have unang una, it's negative 2 minus negative 5. So that's negative 2 minus negative 5. And that becomes negative 2, negative negative magiging plus, okay? Plus 5 and that's like 5 minus 2, diba? So that's 3. Next, we have 1 minus negative 2. Okay, so 1 minus negative 2, and that is just 1 plus 2 equals 3. Next, we have 4 and then 1. So 4 minus 1 is equal to, okay, that's just 3. So there is a common difference. That is why this is an arithmetic sequence. Okay. Um, we also have what we call term that refers to each value in a sequence. So, this is the first term, second term, third term, and so on. Okay. Meron din tayong tinatawag na general term of a sequence. General term, yung tinatawag na nth term or general formula. For an arithmetic sequence that is a sub n, etong formula na ito, kailangang i-memorize niya na, again, memorize, hindi lang basta-basta familiarize, i-memorize. Ang general formula is given by a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Where, yung a sub n natin, that's the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, the n is uh, the number of terms, and always minus 1 yan, and yung d is the common difference. So, let's have an example. In the sequence 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on, the tenth term can be found using this general formula. Substitute lang natin. So, if we have this sequence and we are looking for the 10th term, meaning to say, we are looking for a sub 10. Right? So, a sub 10, uh, ano ang a sub 10? Right. So, substituting this originally, that is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, yung a sub n, n natin, that's a sub 10, equals, yung first term natin ay 4, a sub 1, plus we are looking for a sub 10, so our n is 10. Kaya 10 minus 1. And then the common difference, that's 8 minus 4 is 4. So the common difference is 4. Using your calculator, you can have 10 minus 1, that's 9. 9 times 4, that's 36. Pl uh, plus 4, that's 40. So the 10th term is 40. Let's try this one. Find the 20th term in the sequence 6, 13, 20, 27, and so on. So we are looking for the 20th term. So that's that's a sub 20. Okay. So kung a sub 20 yan, it follows na yung n natin ay 20. Okay. 
And our common difference, of course, is 13. You can have 13 minus 6, and that is 7. Check natin kung common ba talaga. 20 minus 13 is also 7. 27 minus 20 is also 7. So, uh, it's really 7. Okay? And then, we use the formula again. E, memorize A sub N equals A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. So, that is A sub N. That's A sub 20. A sub 1 natin, yung first term is 6. Okay, 6 plus, we are looking for A sub 20. So, our N is 20 minus 1. And the common difference is 7. Okay. Uh, substitute, uh, I mean, uh, solve mo lang yan. Okay, so that would be uh, 20 minus 1 is 19. Okay, and 19 times 7, that is 133, plus 6, that gives us 139. So, our 20th term, A sub 20, is 139. Ito, another example. Find the 30th term of an arithmetic sequence if, 30th term tayo ha, if the 5th term is negative 10 and the common difference is 6. Okay. So, we are looking for A sub 30. Okay. Ang yung given natin ay yung a sub 5 daw ay negative 10. Tapos, ang common difference daw ay 6. Madali lang sana ito, no? If we know the first term. If we know the first term. Kaya lang, hindi binigay sa atin kung anong value ng first term. Kaya, hahanapin natin ang first term. Still, we use the same general term. That's a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And so, we use this ano muna, information. We use that information muna to solve for a sub 1 bago natin isolve yung a sub 30. Okay, so a sub 5, that would be negative 10. Yung a sub 1 natin, yun ang hinahanap natin muna. Okay, and then since uh, a 10, negative 10 is a sub 5, so our n is 5 minus 1. The common difference is 6. So, negative 10 equals a sub 1 plus 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. Okay? Plus 24. So, minus 24 tayo dito. Ayan. Minus 24 din tayo dito. And so, we have a sub 1 equals negative 34. Ayan. So, meron na tayong a sub 1. So, pwede na nating isolve sa a sub 30. Okay? The same, ano, general term. So, we have a sub 30 is equal to a sub 1 plus yung 30 minus 1 and yung common difference that is 6. So, a sub 30 equals yung a sub 1 natin is negative 34. Okay? Plus 30 minus 1 is 29. Okay? And 29 times 6, that is 174. 174. Minus 34, that gives us 140. Okay? So, therefore, our 30th term is 140. Okay, ito naman, arithmetic means. Okay, arithmetic means. When we say arithmetic means, it refers to the terms between any two consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. Okay, kung ano yung nasa pagitan ng dalawang arithmetic terms o oh, ng dalawang terms ng arithmetic sequence. Example, in this se sequence 4, 8, 12, 16 and so on, 8 and 12 are the two arithmetic means between 4 and 16. So, we have 4, 8, 12, 16. So, ang arithmetic means sa pagitan ng 4 at ng 16 ay ang 8 at saka 12. Kasi ito yung mga terms in between 4 and 16. Pwede din nating sabihin na yung 8, yun ang arithmetic mean between 4 and 12. Pwede din na yung arithmetic mean between 8 and 16 is 12. Okay? Right. Pero paano, how do we find? How do we find arithmetic means? Halimbawa, ito no, halimbawa, um, ang instruction sa atin, find the two arithmetic means between 4 and 16. Halimbawa, hindi natin alam yung 8 at saka 12. So, meron tayong 4 
and then blank, and then blank, and then 16. So, ang question sa atin, ano yung mga numbers dyan between 4 and 16? Okay? So, madali lang yan. Again, gagamit tayo ng uh, formula natin, general term, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Okay? And so, we use this information. Si, yung a sub n natin is si 16. Yung a sub 1 natin ay si 4. Alright? So, that would be 16 equals 4 plus, pang ilan si 16? 1, 2, 3, 4. Pang apat siya. So, that is 4 minus 1 times yung d. Okay? Hindi natin alam si common difference. Yun ang sinusolve natin. Okay? So, that would be 16 equals 4 plus 3d. Okay? So, minus 4 tayo. Minus 4. So, that becomes 12. Right? And we have 3d. Divide both sides by 3. Okay? So, you have d equals 4. Ayan, meron ka ng information ng D. Ang common difference mo ay 4. So, ito ngayon ang i-add mo sa 4 to get the next term. And that would be the first arithmetic mean. So, that's 4 plus 4, 8. Ah, this is your first arithmetic mean. Add ka din ng 4 to get the second arithmetic mean. Okay, 8 plus 4, that's 12. So, therefore, the arithmetic means between 4 and 16 are 8 and 12. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Let's have another example. Insert three arithmetic means between 6 and 34. Ito naman tatlo. Okay? Between 6 and 34. So, si 6 yung a sub 1 natin. Tapos, insert tayo ng tatlo. Ayan. And then, yung last term natin si 34. Again, gagamit tayo ng a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Gagamitin natin si 34 as our a sub n. Yung a sub 1 natin si 6 plus, pang ilan ba si 34? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pang lima siya, no? 5 minus 1. And we are solving for the common difference. So, that is 34 equals 6 plus 4d. Solving that, uh, we have neg minus 6, minus 6 din tayo dito. So, we have 4d equals 28. Divide both sides by 4. Okay? And so, you have D equals 7. Okay? So, common difference mo ay 7. So, si 7 ngayon, yan ang i-add mo dito kay 6 to get your first arithmetic mean. So, 6 plus 7 is 13. Plus 7, that's 20. Plus 7, that's 27. So, therefore, the 3 arithmetic means, 3 arithmetic means, between 6 and 34 are 13, 20, and 27. Yun na. That's it.